Hey guys, did you know that Tipu Sultan and his contribution to warfare eventually went on to inspire the American national anthem? Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan, the famous father-son duo, ruled the kingdom of Mysore in India in the second half of the 17th century. Tipu was a fierce warrior who was popularly called the Tiger of Mysore. So much so, he had even commissioned a toy called the Tipu's Tiger for his children to play. What was this toy all about? It was a ferocious tiger attacking a poor English soldier. It was a winding toy and once you wound the toy, you could hear the tiger roar and the soldier crying pain. Quite a toy, isn't it? It's still working and very much at display at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. The father and the son went on to fight four great wars against the British. In fact, they won the first and the second war. If you're wondering what made the English run helter skelter in these wars, well, it was rockets. Mysorean rockets. Like most things, the rockets were first made in China. But it was Tipu who not just reinvented them, but also pioneered its use in warfare. How do these rockets work? It is a metal can filled with gunpowder attached to a long sword. Once fired, it travelled more than a kilometre, scaring the opposing army. At its peak, Tipu had more than 5,000 men in what he called the Rocket Brigade. This was revolutionary for its tanks. After Tipu was defeated and killed, the British took these rockets back to England and reverse engineered them so they could use it in their warfare. And the place where they reverse engineered these rockets was the Royal Arsenal in London, right at the banks of the River Thames. Do you know which other famous fighting force came out of the same place? Well, it's a famous Arsenal football club. Back to our rockets. The British used these rockets extensively not just against Napoleon but also in the war against America. And it was here when a young American poet saw the national flag flying high with the rockets bursting in the background. It was this very sight that inspired him to pen down the famous poem with the lines, the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, which went on to become the American national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Hold on, I'm not done yet. Francis Scott Key wrote the American National Anthem on board a ship that was built in India. Yes, you heard me right. HMS Minden, that ship was built in the Bombay docks by a wealthy Indian businessman, Jamshedji Bomanji Wadi. So that's Tipu and the Indian connection to the American National Anthem. Stay tuned, we'll be back with more.